this is the Ken TV. If you've not joined us before, then we often look at our DPN Rover car collection. And today I thought we'd look at changing the interior light and the boot light of a Rover 45 to a LED bulb. Now, um, as you can see, we've got the original um, fuse or festoon bulb and the replacement LED bulb. And uh, we got these from eBay and we actually got 10 for 2 99 And at uh, that price, we thought, well, we might as well give it a go. And if they don't work, we've not lost too much. Uh, we got it from a premium seller, so if they hadn't have worked, hopefully we could have sold, sent them back anyway. Now it's not something we'd ordinarily normally change as we like to keep the original bulbs in the headlights and even the interior lights but what we found is with a car you're not necessarily using every day if the battery does get a bit low and then you go out and start loading up the boot and loading up the car and having the doors open it's surprisingly how quick these bulbs can drain the battery so we're um changing it mainly because of that but we have had some extra bonuses as it is a lot lot brighter light uh, and does seem to work with the system now on the hatchback rover 45 it is a fuse bulb festoon bulb on the interior light and the boot light uh, but if you've got a saloon 45 then in the boot it is a bayonet type fitting bulb and um, online they seem to refer to them as side light bulbs you'd have to get both types if you've got the saloon 45 there's also a festoon fuse bulb in the glove box and we've not changed that yet but perhaps that's something i can look into when we look at changing the cabin filter so if i take you up to the interior light and we've got the um cover off of it at the moment you can see the new led bulb fits in just as the original bulb would have done uh, it's very very easy to remove you simply just get hold of it push it one way and uh, it drops down and you can push it back in like that and the best way to find out which is your bulb if you're doing it on a different car or on a 45 is to measure the bulb and then when you go online they have a selection of measurements and you'll pick the bulb that best suits your measurement now getting the front cover off or the glass lens is it slots into the back with two tabs uh, and then you then push it up in and when you're taking it down the actual book says you should be able to just pull it it'll unclip and come out but what we found is it's a lot easier uh, if you use one of these plastic tools and basically just um get it in and wedge it down and pull it down as you've seen I've just done it's well worth a clean um, it is quite a rough surface so I used um, a glass cleaner with a brush to really wash that out and give it give it a clean so the way the um, light works up here is as you can see if it focuses you've got a little switch you've got zero which is completely off um, the middle position brings it on with the doors now when you open the doors it'll come on when you shut the doors it'll stay on for so long and then gently fade down and we're glad that the LED does fade down as it's meant to um, when you lock the car or unlock it the light will also come on to illuminate your um your car the leds do seem to work with this system and if we go right the way forward um it will come on hopefully there we go um obviously if you're not using the switches a lot as you see there it will um, flicker about a bit to the contacts are just right and as you can see it's a lovely um, bright white light and once you put the diffuser cover on um, it then diffuses the light nice and clearly uh, like that and uh, as I said it drops down like that um, and then you push the tabs back in to do it and as you can see the bulb comes out very very easily as it's just fell out there and there are the, um, the contacts but it doesn't fall out once you're going along it appears to stay in and uh, we've been using it for a week they seem to come on and haven't um, blown either so the boot light if I um, reach down to our um, pull out boot and open up the boot and we go round to the, um, the boot and 
need your boot light is right down here. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice bright white light, completely white in the camera out. And this is a very easy lens to remove. It just comes off like that. And uh, the bulb pulls out, you change it, and uh, you can put it straight back. So as always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down at the bottom and join us once again here at DPN TV for the DPN Car Collection. Thank you very much for watching.